Good day, YouTube. My name is Jake Esmo, and today we're going to talk about adding fraction with LCD. So first is let's going to talk about fractions. So this is an example of a fraction. So we have one over three, or one. One is your numerator, and three is your denominator. Okay, the top number is your numerator, and this number below is your denominator. So here I have two, one over three, and two over three. So the technique guys in adding fraction is very simple. If both denominators, okay, if both are the same, then simply copy that and just add the numerators and you're done. So in this example, we have one plus two, so you have three, and then your denominator because they're both the same. So you have three. So three over three or one. Very simple. Okay, now let's have another example. And this time we have three fractions. So we have two over seven, three over seven, and one over seven. So if you notice guys, uh, all the fractions have the same uh, denominators, seven. So simply add the numerators. So two plus three plus one. So we have five plus one. So we have six over seven okay very simple so 2 plus 3 plus 1 so you have 6 over 7 okay now let's have another example but this time we have something like 3 over 5 plus 4 over 10 and uh, guess okay what's going to be our denominator okay so that would be a problem because you cannot add right away okay the two fractions if they're not having the same denominators so we have to get a common denominators in order for us to add these two fractions okay so this is how you do it we have to get the LCD or the list common denominator and how to do that okay so I know your teacher is um, sharing with you some tips on how to do it finding the uh, the common denom denominator of this 5 and 10 and that will take time okay so I'm going to share to you a technique on how to do it fast okay so here it is so here's the technique just simply look for the uh, the bigger number so in our denominators guys we have 5 and 10 and 10 is bigger than 5 so just try to divide 5 to 10 and if it is divisible by the uh, this number then that would be your denominator so in this example if we divide 10 by 5 we get 2 and that that means that that uh, 10 is divisible by 5 so we can now use the 10 as our denominator very simple so next thing is we're going to okay um, divide 10 okay we're going to divide 10 by 5 and times 3 okay you're going to do that for this first and second fractions so let's remove this first okay so the first is you're going to um, sorry okay let me put that back okay so you're going to divide 10 by 5 okay okay so that would be 2 2 times 3 okay that would be 6 so you get 6 over 10 plus let's go now to this side 4 over 10 okay let's have 10 divided by 10 and that is 1 and then you multiply that with 4 so 1 times 4 is you have 4 okay so because they all have the same denominators we can now add the two these two functions okay so 
this is 6 plus 4 is now 10 and just copy the denominator so we have 10 or 1 very simple huh oh, let's have 2 over 3 plus 2 over 5 okay so different denominators we cannot proceed to addition but we can get the LCD if we try to check guys okay 5 is the highest and 5 is not divisible by 3 so that's a technique you have to check if it's divisible by the lowest denominator and it's not so here's the tip okay here's a technique guys just simply multiply that by 2 okay if it's still not um, divisible by the lowest value of your um, fraction uh, okay we're going to proceed with 3 multiply it by 3 if it's still not you can proceed with multiplying it by 4 and so on and so forth okay so let's start with um, multiply this highest value with 2 and you get 10 and 10 is not divisible by 3 okay how about this one 15 15 is divisible by 3 yes okay so we stop here so let's remove 4 and 15 is our denominator so let's have the 15 as our common denominator so we can now proceed with the addition okay so this is for my first set for this and this one is for the second set so this is how you're going to do it we're going to divide 15 okay by 3 okay the answer is 15 divided by 3 you get 5 and 5 times 2 you get 10 okay next is this one 15 divided by 5 you get 3 and then you're going to multiply that with 2 3 times 2 you get 6 okay now both have the same denominators so we can now proceed with addition copy the denominator, denominator and then add the 2 10 and 6 so you have 16 over 15 or you have one one over 15 okay so this is your final answer okay now let's move on to something a bit difficult let's have 5 over 8 plus 7 over 12 plus 3 over 4 wow so we have three fractions here three fractions okay so 5 over 8 plus 7 over 12 3 over 4 this is now a bit difficult because we have three fractions and different denominators so we're going to look for the highest or the the bigger denominator and this is the one 12 let's try to check if 12 is divisible by 8 and 4 so let's start with 8 first okay so let's try to divide 12 by 8 if it's divisible it's not okay how about 12 divided by 4 okay it's divisible you get 3 okay but if we are going to look for the LCD a common denominator that we're going to use it should be divisible by the three numbers these three denominators so let's move on and follow the technique that I shared to you multiply it by 2 okay so you we have 12 times 2 so we have 24 
and let's try to check if 24 is divisible by 8 12 and 4 okay so let's check okay 24 divided by 8 yes divisible okay let's have 24 divided by 12 of course it's divisible how about 24 divided by 4 6 so 24 is our common denominator so let's use 24 here okay this is for the first set plus our second set plus the third one okay so let's start with this okay so 24 divided by 8 then 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 times 5 you get 15 yes now let's try this one 24 divided by 12 then times 7 you get 14 okay and here 24 Okay, divided by 24 divided by 4 times 3 okay you get 18 okay so we have 24 24 24 so common denominators we can now proceed so we have 15 plus 14 plus 18 so we have 47 over 24 and we can simplify that to 1 23 over 24 so this is your final answer okay Thank you very much for watching this is Jake as well and hope you learned something guys in this adding fractions and learning the basic of LCD the simplest way around. Thank you and goodbye.